we've already seen it, the Europeans coming in and you know, now the Japanese and the Asian horses. But do you reckon with these great races on now, prize money, we're going to see a bigger influx over the years well, to if come? Well, they, if they win again, mm. you know, the, it's, it's a lot of money. Yeah. It's a lot of... You know, it's a lot of euro, yeah. it's a lot of yen. <laughs> well, when they, they just rem, remind me, when uh, when the Japanese won the first Mel, when they first Melbourne Cup, didn't pop, EI put pop, a rock. stop to it? Mm. Remember, they, that was going to be the wave. Yeah. And pop, then rock, EI rock. hit and, and they, they they couldn't come anymore. And it mm. took a long time for the Japanese to come back yeah. into Australia. Uh, so if something, as long as a phenomenon like that doesn't hit us, yeah. there, there could be. Yeah. If they keep winning. Yeah. Oh, I'm surprised that more Europeans haven't, taken up the challenge like William Haggis has in the autumn. Because mm. yes. Williams is the only one bringing a horse out and he just goes bang, bang, bang every year. He does. And he's great fresh with them as well. Yeah.